But it, I think it has to be said, it can't be said often enough. It's not, what is international law? <laughs> so I am a professor of international law. I'm a reasonably famous professor of international law. Uh, I have no clue. If I talk to my colleagues, I can hear them, I can read them. And, or behind that, that those readings and these vocabularies, different kinds of understandings. We can think of it as a regulatory instrument, surely. And yeah, that takes you some way, but I've already tried to demonstrate to you that as a regu regulatory instrument, it has some specific aspects to it, because it seeks to regulate in a highly hostile environment, in which everybody is kind of dubious about the motives of everybody else. It's, it's not... Uh, a national community that's being regulated. And in some ways, uh, regulation like the water courses agreement, it may be helpful in some contexts, but it's not helpful in other contexts. International law is also an instrument of what we've now learned to call lawfare. This is an American neologism which refers to the use of law as part of warfare. And I'm very familiar with this, and I've demonstrated to you a few ways in which we, as lawyers, try to hit our enemies and defend our clients. We use it by these words. We, we from the mass of expressions, uh, construct a kind of defense of our client, our country, whatever it is that we need to defend, and then use that mass in order to attack our adversaries, to get the best deal possible, um, etc. The Americans, of course, use the expression lawfare when they want to say all, all kinds of pacifists and leftists are critiquing American action in Afghanistan, etc. Why should we take their legal argument seriously? It's just lawfare. They are just using this as an instrument to hit back on us. And of course, they are not wrong, but they are doing the same thing all the time. So regulatory instrument and lawfare come together in some complex way, which is really hard to understand. Many people, especially from the political science side, uh, want to think not, law, not so much as norms, as regulatory rules or principles, but as a means of communication, means of cooperation and learning. So law is something that brings us together. We talk about it and we come to understand each other's objectives, each other's values, and maybe fear each other a little bit less and maybe the uh, atmosphere of solidarity within which rules can operate can gradually be created through legal debates. And this is not completely wrong. There, there is some so really sophisticated recent political science literature on the ability of law kind of secretly or behind the scenes doing this kinds of socialization work. And certainly, all <coughs> international lawyers, are, we are a really sociable and friendly bunch of who feel a lot of solidarity among our, ourselves, especially when we fly to these wonderful places like Florence and give these talks. So we feel it's great, no, international law is, one, uh, is the thing. Not everybody thinks that way. Then there is a very well-established, serious, practical sense of international law. As that what courts do. And most of us, in one way or another, as lawyers, have been trained to think in that, that way. International lawyers may be slightly less than, say, contract lawyers or administrative lawyers, but we too. So we too read the cases from the International Court of Justice, the European Court of Human Rights, and in some sense we think that that is the core, that is the heart of law. And then it, the, the law, when we think about it, it uh, radiates towards the margins from that core, and somewhere there in the utter margin is international law, which is it law, is it not? Well, you know, we can have conversations over beer about that. Those are conversations are ongoing and they have never ended. Same contract lawyers don't have that conversation. Administrative lawyers, judges in international bodies don't have that. Uh, when sometimes when my uh, Colleagues ask me, well, how do I know international law exists? I say, well, I'm an international lawyer. I exist. There is no better evidence of that. And I think that's where I want to, want to end. Thank you very much.